Hi creators, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create product mockups. So let's jump right in. I'm on the dashboard page of the My Designs website. Um, I do want to point out that when we want to create mockups, we don't come under assets here and go to mockups. We need to go into our listings tab and then we go into a collection. And I already have one here that I've uploaded some designs to, but you would need to upload your designs first. Uh, once we have our designs uploaded, the next step is to come in the top right corner here and select all of the designs that we would like to create mockups on. So in this case, I'm going to show you an example of doing it on all six of these designs in this collection at once. So I'll just click select all. Now that we have all of the designs selected, I'll, you go over to the mockups tab here and then we're going to click image mockups. The first example I'm going to show you is going to be a Bella 3001 shirt and we'll do one that has a model as well. So maybe we'll do this one here. I think this one looks really nice. Um, and then we'll change the color to be a white background. You can do that by clicking here or you can type in the hexadecimal code if you prefer to do it that way. Um, I'll generate a preview just on this first one so, I, so that you guys can see what that looks like. And you can do this for every mock-up you're creating just so that you can uh, take a look and make sure that you like it before you actually click create mock-ups. And I think that looks great. So I'm going to click create mock-ups now. And that should be done very soon. All right, and it looks like it's done just like that. So we can preview these mock-ups by double clicking the file slot that it put them into. So as you can see, we can see them all now that way. And we can also go up to this button here called switch the view. If we click this, it gets rid of all of our data so that we can just see the image inside of the file slot. So uh, in a matter of seconds, we just created six really good looking um, mockups for these camping designs. Next, I'll show an example of a sweater mockup. So once again, we have all six of our designs selected. We're going to go to mockups again, click image mockups. And then this time I'm going to search Gildan 18,000. This is a sweater here. Um, and this time we'll just do a flat lay uh, mockup and not use a model so that we can get some variety going. Um, I'll select this one here, change the color to white. And as you can see, this one already generated a preview. So now that that's done, we'll just go ahead and change the um, or make sure the file slots change. I didn't mention that on the T-shirts. The input file slot is the design file that we want to use to create these mockups. So that's my original design. The output file slot is where we're going to put this new mockup. And so we want to make sure if we're creating new mockups that this is in an empty slot. As you can see, I have one named sweater mockup. So I'm going to select that and click create mockups. Now you can see at the top here, it says processing six listings in this collection. That just shows you that there is an active job running. Um, as soon as that's done, you'll see that it disappears like that. And now if we double click our sweater mockup, we can see it here and we'll go switch the view again. And now you can see just like that, we have another uh, six great looking camping mockups. Next, I'd also like to show you how to create a sticker mockup. So once again, we just make sure we have all of our designs selected in our collection, and then we'll go back to mockups, image mockups, and this time we'll go to the select category and select stickers. And you'll see we have a list of sticker mockups here. Um, I'm just going to select one of these um, die cut stickers with the wood background and I'm not going to generate a preview. I'll make sure that it's going into our sticker mockup file slot, and then I'll click create mockups. Now that that's done, we'll double click it, go to switch the view. And as you can see, we've now just created six really good looking sticker mockups for these camping designs. Next, I'll show you how to create a digital file mockup. I will do it in the exact same way. Go back to mockups and then we'll select under category, digital this time. And I like, especially for these camping designs, I prefer one of these wood backgrounds. So I'll select one of these. 
Um, if we have keywords, we can include those as well as change the color of the keywords um, by selecting them here. I don't have any, so I'm not going to select that, but you can see the primary keyword would be where it says it on the mockup. Secondary keyword would be right under it. Um, I'm going to change the background to be white as our design colors are black, and then I'm going to click create mockups. Now that those are done, we'll take a look at them and make sure they look good. And just like that, we now have six um, mockups for selling these as digital files. Now, the last type of mockup I'd like to show is our video mockups. Uh, this is a very new feature, but we can just go select it in the exact same way. We'll select all six of these to make sure that they're that we're doing it on all of them at once. And then we'll go to video mockups. And this is where we select the mockups that we would like the video to essentially filter through. It's more of like a slideshow rather than an actual video, but it, it helps um, your listings really stand out on Etsy. So we'll just deselect the default file slot because that's our actual file we're selling. Um, and then we'll rotate through these other four mockups that we've created. And then we'll go ahead and put it in this empty file slot. It's called t-shirt color chart, but that's not a, that's not what it is. It's just uh, what the file slot's named. And then we'll click submit. Now that those video mockups are done, we can go double click on them again here. We'll go to switch the view, and then I'll play one of the videos so that you can see what it looks like. And that's it. So when a customer hovers over your listing on Etsy, then that video would automatically start playing and it would show all the different products that you're offering. Or if you just were offering one product, but you had several different mockups, it would show them um, all the different mockups. So it really helps your listing stand out. And I would recommend putting a video on every one of your listings. That does it for how to create product mockups. Hopefully everything made sense. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more My Designs content.